Bootstrap breakpoints are a critical part of building responsive layouts with the Bootstrap framework. Under the hood, breakpoints run on media queries. So what breakpoints give you is the ability to style your content differently depending on the user's screen. However, a key difference between breakpoints and say a CSS media query is that breakpoints can be applied as CSS classes in your HTML. Now, what that means is that you could say, have an element be 100% width for the algae breakpoint, but then you can, for the MD breakpoint, take that width down to 50%. And that makes it very flexible, especially where you're using the bootstrap grid system. Now, I've done a separate video on the bootstrap grid system. I'll put a link on screen now and also in the description. So if you're not familiar with the grid system, be sure to check it out. In this video, we're gonna look at how do we amend the breakpoints? What happens if you're not happy with the default? So inside of the docs, layouts, and then breakpoints, here's the SAS map that we need to modify if we want to make any changes. So an important point to note is that you have to have SAS set up for your bootstrap. You have to be able to recompile it. Now I'll put a link on screen right now and in the description to the site that I'm just about to show you right now. It's set up with a build tool called Parcel and it allows me to make any SAS map amends. So we have two ways we can make changes to the grid breakpoints. First, we can just copy this entire SAS map over to our variables override file. Now with my setup, I've placed that inside of my SCSS abstracts folder, but essentially you can place it wherever you want in your setup. As long as you import it before you import bootstraps variables, that's the key part. So this is the file we're gonna place this code in right now, and we have to output the entire map as it is. And once we've got this grid breakpoints pasted into our variables override file, we're free to make any changes we want. Let's say we wanna add a new breakpoint and it should kick in round about 300. That right there will now give us an additional breakpoint and wherever Bootstrap uses breakpoints, so for the classes inside of the grid system, we'll now have this new XXS breakpoint available. Now, although this is the quickest and the easiest way, it's not technically the best way. There is a better way that we can do this. So let's get rid of that. In fact, let's get rid of this completely. And again, the important thing here is that you have the right order of import set up. So inside of my main.scss, the first thing you have to do is get bootstraps variables imported. Then you have to import your own map amends. And then you have to import the rest of bootstrap, or in my case, just the entire bootstrap file. If you don't get that order right, then your map amends will be ignored. Now, just like with my variables override file, I've set up a separate file. I've called it map-amends. You can call it whatever you want on your project. And I'm also storing it in the same location, so inside of my abstracts folder. So inside of our map amends, we need two steps. Step one is to create your own custom SAS map. You can call it whatever you want. My naming convention is typically to take the name of the SAS map I'm looking to amend, and I'll append custom in front of it. So we're targeting grid-breakpoints, hence mine is called custom grid breakpoints. And there's our new breakpoint kicking in at 300 pixels. And then we have to run the map merge functionality. This doesn't have anything to do with bootstrap. This is pure SAS functionality. And a map merge works as follows. You have to start off with the name that you're looking to target. So in other words, our grid breakpoint SAS map. So that variable right there has to match that exactly. Then you call the map merge function and inside of it, you pass the map that you're looking to amend. So again, it's gonna match exactly what you've used right there. Those two have to match up. And then you pass in the new values, so the new map, and that has to match that. And then behind the scenes, SAS will simply do what it says right there. It will merge your new values into the grid breakpoints. And that's it. We can save our changes, and now we have a new XXS breakpoints on the front end. And the nice thing is, the way Bootstrap has set up their SAS functionality, wherever they currently use any breakpoints, so for the grid, or for padding, or for margin, you can now use this new XXS breakpoint straight away. 